Hey, Packbusters, welcome back. Uh, I, I didn't film a video yesterday because it was the eclipse day, and uh, I'm in the zone of totality, so we had a, it was a crazy day. People from all over, I had an event to go to. But watching the total eclipse was really, really cool. So, uh, um, so I didn't do a video yesterday, but I'm going to do a video today just for you. We're going to bust open a couple more packs. In fact, and I do mean that, we're going to bust open a couple of packs. So I have some 89.90 OPG. Um, I remember going to Niagara Falls in 1990 and buying uh, like half a box of these at a gas station or so. Um, and all the reason for opening two is there's only seven cards in a pack. So I thought we would kind of bust open two packs because they seem to uh, be a little shorter video with only about half the number of cards that a uh, tops head. Um, I read a great review about this set. It said that there's everything is great about this set. The design, the information, the players, uh, over 300 cards. The only downside to this set, it just holds no value. The overproduction kind of killed it. Um, not a, It has a lot of rookie cards. The key ones being Joe Sackick and Brian Leach. Um, I think Cliff Running, Theo Fleury was in there. And they. I think those are more considered first cards of those players. Um, so, uh, let's open these up and see what we get and, uh, see how the gum is doing here. So, uh, all right, we're going to get this one here and let's see, the gum is stuck to Basil McRae. Uh, it's cracked, um, and it is stuck. I mean, I'm not, this one ain't coming off. So, uh, um, so sorry, Basil. Uh, I guess you could lick the gum off of this, but but don't do that. Don't lick it, don't eat it, don't chew it. Um, we're just going to kind of toss that over there. Bye, Basil, and see who else we got in this pack here. Uh, so we have Neil Broughton. Neil Broughton, Broughton. So uh, with the North Stars, uh, another good long career, great player. Uh, so, uh, in fact, he came in the league in uh, what looks like 80-81 here with the North Stars, so... Uh, Neil Broton, we got, ah, Luke Robitaille, here's a good king, classic king. Um, I know he played with the Red Wings for like two seasons before going back to uh, Los Angeles and finished out his career there. I think it was two or three seasons. I'm pretty sure it was two because wasn't there a lockout season in between there or something. So Luke Robitaille, that's a good card, good card to have in this pack. Again, not a lot of value with these. Um, and this a little off center, you can see right, left, um... You know, it's 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 cut a little off. That's uh, OPG had that. You can see that on the Neil card also. Peter Taglianetti. Okay, great name. Good player. Seen here with the Jets. That one's a little better centered, so I do like that card. Uh, Alain Chevier. Chevier? Alain Chevier. Uh, goalie with the, uh, the Blackhawks. Yep. So, uh... I recognize the name. I don't know. Uh, he, he looks like he came into the league with the Devils, went to the Jets, and then the Blackhawks. Um, so uh, uh, there's a goalie card there. Another goalie card, John Casey. Now, there's, a, there's a familiar name there. John Casey with the North Stars. So uh, good goalie. Um, I don't, again, I don't know how long his career was, but John Casey. And the last card, hey, it's a Lemieux, but not a Mario. So we want to find the Gretzkys and Marios and Ray Borks in this set. A lot of great veterans in this set. But this is Claude Lemieux, a feisty player. Um, but again, he he was a great player and a decent goal scorer too. He was always a 20-some goal scorer pretty consistently. So Claude Lemieux. Um, and that's it. That's it for the pack. I mean, it's, it's seven cards. Um, so Basil, sorry, you got the gum. Everybody else, not a great pack. I do like the uh, Luke Robitaille, Claude Lemieux, a couple good names, Tagline, Eddie Broton. Um, so let's open up another one. Ba -da -ba -bum. I got two. I think I still have one more left, but we're just going to do two today. So here we go. And let's see who we got here. The gum is stuck to, it looks like a St. Louis Blues, Steve Tuttle. Let's see if we, oh no, that's stuck. <laughs> These must have uh, had some moisture or something like that. Oh, oh, no, that ain't coming off. So two cards ruined by the gum. So Steve Tuttle, uh, this is probably his rookie card too because he's uh, with the Blues here. He's only got one season on the back. So again, 
Uh, no, no, don't do that. It's probably a, that probably doesn't taste like anything. It's all dried out. Um, okay, Gaston, uh, Gingras. So with the Blues also, 270. I don't know. He's been with the Lee. He's been with uh, Canadians and Maple Leafs and uh, uh, looks like the Blues too. Yeah, so uh, I don't know anything about him. So there's, there's a card I'm not familiar with. Keith Crowder. There he is with the, uh, with the Kings. I'm guessing this is one of those doctored photos where he got traded. Um, let me see. I need to put some spectacles on here. He was with the Bruins. So, uh, then he was tr sent to the Kings. And this is probably one of those where they just kind of change the color of the jersey and the helmet, get a close up. Um, Brian Bellows, good North Star. Again, uh, actually pretty decent center card. Um, had a good long career with the North Star. So, Brian Bellows. Joel Otto with the Calgary Flames, card number 205. So came in the league in 84 85. So Joel Otto, good Calgary Flame. Tom Fergus with the Maple Leafs. So uh, Tom played with the Bruins too. And uh, uh, here he is with the Maple Leafs. And the last card in this pack, Derek Laxdale, Laxdale uh, with the Maple Leafs. So again, being that this, this, set had a lot of cards in it you know um you're not you're, you're getting a lot of different players so we didn't get any big veterans you know in these two packs uh like i said i have one more maybe that'll be the lucky one third time's a charm we'll open that a different day uh so uh here's the uh seven cards including steve total so yeah the gum gum took its toll on a couple at least they weren't any key big players or anything like that. So, so some 89.90 OPG. Um, I, I remember putting this set together. I think I put the top set together and I just have a lot of OPG. So I'll put these cards in with the, with the uh, OPG uh, uh, numbers that I have. And, uh, you know, I, I did, I did like the design of this, but again, I think the overproduction, this was the big you know, kind of the explosion. And then in 90, we had all those other sets and other companies come in. So uh, they actually say that the top set is actually a little more, has a little more value than the OPG set, that the OPG got a little more produced and then uh, more boxes and more cards than the uh, the top set did. So, um, but again, not a lot of value. Sackic rookie card, even uh um, Brian Leach, they, they maybe a couple bucks or something like that. Maybe a nice uh, Gem Mint Sackic uh, 10. I'd have to look that up on eBay, see what that's selling for. But you can buy these packs really cheap. So, hey, thanks for watching. Still got a you know video about eight minutes long. Um, hope everybody had a good Eclipse Day yesterday. I'm going to upload this the following Monday. And I uh, hope you're enjoying all the other videos. Please subscribe, like, share. I, I'm doing this for fun. I'm just going through all my packs of cards, you know, uh, just to uh, open them up and have a little fun. I like opening packs. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Bye.